Hey everyone, I'm here in Salt Lake City at the RVX show in the new camp booth. Behind me is their new 28 foot trailer, Avia. Now you may have seen a few videos of the prototype of the Avia, but finally we've got the final version and I'm ready to show it to you. So let's start on the inside, come on. The first thing you'll notice is that they've used the same classic door as in the Tab 400. I love this door because of its use of space. It's got several compartments. It's got a great window with a built-in shade, a trash compartment, and your fire extinguisher all in one place. As you first walk in the camper, you notice the spacious layout. Throughout the camper, you'll find the same Amish built quality cabinetry that New Camp is known for, but this time they finished it with a high gloss coating, giving it that sleek modern look. And check out how tall this thing is, six foot four. Let's start in the front of the camper with this beautiful dinette. It's got comfortable leather seats. The table's plenty big to fit a family of four or five around it. And check out these amazing windows. They're huge and there's four of them. Not only do you get the three windows around the table, but you also have the classic stargazer window, which lets in a lot of light. All of these windows, including the Stargazer window, will open and they have New Camp's classic shade and screen system. Now, of course, this table lowers and the cushions on each side slide in, converting this into an additional sleeping bed that's almost full size. Standard features of the dinette area include the built-in curtains, reading lights on either side, and the speakers, two up top and a subwoofer down at your feet. Not only is there a nice large storage cupboard over each side of the dinette, there's more storage under the seating area. Next, we move into the kitchen. This place is awesome. It's got a really deep sink with a high nozzle, allowing for really easy usage and washing dishes and all that good stuff. Then we have not a two, but a three burner stove with a glass top that allows for extra space when it's not in use. It also has a hood, which has both a light and a vent fan on it. And finally, the backsplash is backlit, allowing for a nice even lighting. Storage is always an important thing in a kitchen, and this one has plenty. First, there are two really large overhead cabinets. Next, there are four really large drawers with safety latches so that they don't pop open while you drive. And one of my favorite uses of spaces are these vertical pantries they've put in. There's a mini one to the right of the fridge, and to the left of the fridge, there's a full-size one. Next, we've got our three-way fridge, so it can run off of battery, shore power, or propane. Now, this is a five cubic foot refrigerator with plenty of room for refrigeration here. And up top, you guys are gonna love a freezer. There's also a secondary compartment down here that's just refrigerated, but it's great for taller items, big bottles, gallons of milk, all that good stuff. Opposite the cooking area, you have an additional counter. This could be used as extra prep space or to put any of those other appliances you might have. It also has a 24 inch flat screen TV and you guessed it, loads more storage. With another overhead cabinet, two really large shelves down beneath, and to the right of it, a full length closet. As we move back in the camper, we're gonna check out the bathroom and bedroom. But between the kitchen and the sleeping area, they've put an easy to access privacy door. Now the bathroom is where New Camp got really creative. They wanted to give you the most usable space without taking up a huge chunk of your trailer. So they separated the toilet and sink area from the shower. The shower is nice and spacious with plenty of compartments for your soap and shampoo and conditioner. It's got a shower head, your hot and cold water controls, a towel rack. It even has its own light. And on the ceiling, we have a skylight and a small fantastic fan. The other side of the bathroom has the most important thing, the toilet. Right above that, there is a foldable basin for your wash sink. There's also a towel rack, a cup holder, a soap holder, and USB and 110 outlets. 
The mirror also has two medicine cabinets. And in the ceiling, you're gonna see another small skylight and another small fantastic fan. Now at first, it may look like this is a small space, but that's where New Camp got really creative. Simply grab the handles on the side and lightly pull towards you to expand the space in the bathroom. Finally, the bedroom. Of course, you get a nice, big, comfy bed. Now, to put a big bed in a small space, they did something else really creative. A foldable bed. It comes with a remote control so you can easily put the bed down or put it up. Ta-da! Once the bed's up, not only does it allow a lot more room to walk around the bed, but it creates a nice comfy place to lounge. This bedroom just has a really great feel to it. Around all of the windows, the shelving, and the cabinets, there's great ambient lighting. There's tons of storage. You've got your cabinets above the bed. You also have a nice tall wardrobe here, and even additional storage on the floor by the bed and in the two front corners. Next to each side of the bed, there's a cubby with shelves, and both sides have 110 and USB outlets. Of course, you've got your reading lights that can be either white or blue to be easy on the eyes. You've also got another set of really great speakers back here, which go with the 28 inch TV in the corner. Now that you've seen the layout, let's talk some of the details in here. I was really impressed with the number of outlets. No matter where you are, you can find a 110 or USB outlet. And because of its large size, there are four fantastic fans. There's two small ones in the shower and the toilet, but there's two big ones, one in the kitchen and one in the bedroom. And the great thing about it is that they have automatic rain sensors. So if you've got them open and it starts raining, they'll automatically close. That's pretty cool. Additionally, it comes standard with a built-in inverter, which is going to allow you to run three of your 110 outlets when you're not hooked up to shore power. And don't worry about being hot or cold because it has a central air conditioner vented throughout the cabin. It also comes with the classic Aldi radiant heat system, which heats not only the camper cabin, but also your hot water. All of these great features can be adjusted in one easy to use central control center. Everything from your Aldi to your lights, your backup camera, your water pump, and everything in between can all be seen and controlled here. There's an entertainment center controller here for the living room TV and another one in the bedroom that controls the bedroom TV separately. In the cabinet under the TV, there's a really convenient hookup for both USB and HDMI that goes into the television. Standard in every unit is also a Wi-Fi signal booster mounted to the wall in the closet. All that is really cool, but we're not done yet. Let's go take a look at the outside. Up front, we start with electric. We've got an electric tongue jack to lift it up and down, and all four stabilizers are also electric. Let's take a look under the hood. Turning on the light in your front compartment, first we start with our batteries. You're gonna have two six volt AGM batteries. There's a battery cutoff switch. There's also a power switch to turn your power inverter on and off. Next, you've got two extra large 30 pound propane tanks. And finally, a full size spare with rims that match the originals. There's also plenty of storage to keep all those extra tools, blocks, chocks, and hoses that you know you're gonna need. Walking around the driver's exterior side of the camper, you'll see we have our city water connection behind a locking cap along with a light to make it a little easier to see. We have a cable connection, our 30 amp electrical hookup. A little bit further down, we've got an outdoor shower compartment. And finally at the end, we have a really large pass-through cargo compartment. One thing that's really nice to have when you get into campers of this size is a backup camera and it comes standard on every Avia. Now for those of you who like to sit outside when you go camping, like me, there are some great creature comforts. First, we have a lit handle with a motion sensor on it. The porch lights can be either white or amber. There's two outdoor speakers and there's a 16 foot electric awning with a full line of LED lights going across.
All right, here's a few final important specs for you. It has a 43 gallon freshwater tank, 41 gray and 41 black. The dry weight of the camper is 5,000 pounds with a tongue weight of 660 pounds. The overall length is 28 feet, but the interior cabin length is 22 feet. And finally, I know you want to know when and how can I buy this? The camper is going to retail for just under $60,000 and you should be able to find it on dealer lots mid-May of this year, 2019. I hope this tour has been helpful and has you as excited about the Avia as I am. If you want more details, go to newcamprv.com or visit me at mandyleephoto.com. Love and like.